Hey guys, Torque 17 here, coming at you with another episode of Star Citizen 101. What we're going to be talking about in today's episode is the hangar. We're actually not going to physically be in a hangar in the game. We're actually going to be on the RSI website showing you how to configure your hangar, as well as a few other tabs in the hangar section of the website. Should be a quick, short episode, just going over the basics, and then our following episodes will actually be in the hangar. We'll do a little tour of each one. Really looking forward to that, but for now, you have to know how to configure your hangar before you can actually get into it. So now we find ourselves back on the RSI page, and how you find your hangar here is you're going to go over to the My RSI button. You're going to go ahead and click that. It's going to pull down a little menu here. You're going to go ahead and click My Hangar. Under this section, you'll see it kind of defaults us on the My Gear section, which basically has all of your items that are in your hangar on your account. So everything here is ships, subscriber flare items, weapons, um, what else, uh, backer rewards, all sorts of things that they have here. And you can kind of um, choose what you want to see. So you can see all game packages, all standalone ships, any ship upgrades, hangar decorations, shields, weapons, anything that you've ever purchased, you can kind of sort in this menu right here. But let's scroll up a little bit. I want to talk about the hangar log first. The hangar log is actually a log of all the transactions that have ever happened on your hangar. Any purchases you've made, any gifts you've made, any gifts you've received, anything that Star Citizen or Robert Space Industries has given you, whether it was a subscriber flare or a backer reward. So everything will be in that section. It's a useful tool to kind of see what's been going on in your account. The very next section is your actual hangar section, and there's a little button that says configuration. So it'll tell you a little bit about the current hangar that you're using, but if you go ahead and click configuration, it will bring you to another section where you can select your hangar. Now I have the availability of all four hangars. It all depends on what ships you've purchased. Uh, as we've talked about in the pledge section, it kind of tells you what hangar your ship comes with, and it all depends on that. There's also, you have the ability to purchase uh, certain hangers. For example, the VFG industrial hanger costs $50. So you can purchase that hanger separately and then you'll have access to it. And you basically just click on a hanger to choose it. My favorite hanger is the self land, so we'll default to that. We'll go into more detail in other videos about each hanger, uh, the company, as well as do a little tour of it in a future videos coming up very soon. So you can go ahead and save the My Hanger configuration right here, right away. Okay, uh, you know, I have my self land hanger and I want to keep that. And it'll default it. Now, as you can see over here, it says My Ships in this section. And, and there's nothing there. What does that mean? I have no ships? No. That means that I've placed all my ships in a bay already. So you can actually configure what ships are in what bay and, if, and where you want your ships in your hangar. And how you do that is you kind of click and drag them around. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag every single ship in my hangar currently, and I'm going to take it out, and then we're going to kind of configure everything and explain everything to you. Now, right away, you can see that there is a ship name, so it says Constellation Aquila, and then the size of the ship. Each bay can either hold three small size ships, one medium sized ship, or one large size ship. So we'll kind of give you an example of that real quick. So the Constellation Aquila is a large ship. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the central bay. And as you can see, the central bay status said empty. Now it says full, can't fit any more ships there. The Aurora LN is a small size ship. So we'll put that in the left side bay. And then the status changed to available. So we still have space available. So let's drag another small ship over to that section. It actually opens up another tab for us. Boom, we put the M50 there. Still have space available because we have one more slot, right? Three small ships. So let's drag the Super Hornet and put that there. Boom, now it says full. So we've reached our three small si sized ships capacity there. And again, I do own one medium sized ship, so let's kind of show you that. So let's drag the Freelancer Max and put it in the right side bay. It says full. That's one little pet peeve I have about this system currently. I feel like our hangers should just be a little bit wider where it fits one large ship, two medium ships, and three small ships. Just makes sense, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click Save on that, and it's going to bring up the menu, say, Done, your active hangar has been updated. And there it goes, refreshes, 
And that's pretty much it for the hanger section. I'm going to go ahead and click my hanger again and it should bring us back to that default page. So the one thing that I do want to show you guys is that my ROM section. There is a new system that's been put into Star Citizen fairly recently, which is the rental system. So if you don't own a lot of ships, you only own one ship, let's say, for example, it's an Aurora, but you really want to fly a Hornet. You can rent the Hornet for seven days and you'll have it for seven flyable days. It's pretty exciting. We will go into much more detail about that in the future. It kind of takes away the pay to win aspects of Arena Commander at the moment. And you basically have access to every flyable ship in game. Now you just earn it with in game currency. So let's go ahead and click the My ROM section. And it basically has the same hangar log, but for your electronic access, which is the name of the store where you rent stuff. Again, we'll go into more detail on this in the future. So that has a log of every purchase I've ever made in the electronic access store. And then it also shows my current purchases. So let's go into detail a little bit on this Panther repeater. It says I bought it on June, or I rented it, excuse me, on June 27th, 2015. It says it contains the Klaus and Warner CF-227 Panther Repeater. I have five days left. So essentially, you have seven days of usage. There is five days left and 17 hours and two minutes left in the day. So for example, I used the Panthers today. I logged into my account today. Therefore, it used one token. And I have 17 hours left in that one day's token, right? You can also renew your weapons for cheaper from within the MyROM section. As far as I understand, this is the only place where you can rent them, renew them for cheaper. So that's pretty much it for the hangar on the website. The future videos are actually going to detail the hangars in-game and kind of show you where things are, discuss a little bit of the lore behind each hangar and all that stuff. So that's it for this episode of Star Citizen 101. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down button. If your feelings are more than just a like or dislike, go ahead and comment below. If you are looking for more episodes like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't checked out my Twitch stream yet, go ahead and go to twitch.tv slash twerk17. Looking forward to see you there, guys. And I will see you guys next time.